It's so much about handling people and psychology, I guess. I mean, nothing can be the best thing you've ever said, or it could get you the sack. You've got to gauge that. And it's very easy to work for, but his ball flight, you better know exactly where the wind is, because if it's a smidge into or a smidge down, it's a huge difference for him. Caddy Gareth Lorb was the man by Henrik Stenson's side at Royal Troon. He's regarded as one of the best bagmen in the business and was on hand with advice and information as Henrik finally got his hands on the major title he so richly deserved. Time to find out more about their successful partnership. I sent him a text at the end of 2012, because I knew he was without a caddy, and his, his manager at the time was Johan Elliott, who was the same as Robert Carlson, who I'd worked for for years. He gave me his number and I watched him win the South African Open. And I was like, hmm, I've seen that before. So I sent him a text and he got back to me a couple of days later. First tournament, God knows how he did it, but he came about 22nd, 23rd, but he, he wasn't very good. So <laughs> he chipped and played like a demon for that, I remember that. And then he got steadily better and better. And by the time we got to America, he was really starting to play well. I would say that Ryder Cup with Justin Saturday morning. To birdie 10 in a row to finish the Americans off was pretty cool. I mean, they were just brilliant. Justin no doubt played a bit better than Henrik, but Henrik was always there, then he came with his birdies, and that was phenomenal, because you get to share it with another couple, if you like, you know? We would generally go through the round before we start as if you had walked the course, we'll go through the book, this is where the wind is, we would like to be here, the flag is here, so therefore we'll try and hit it here, if things are going well. Obviously, if you're in trouble, then he's generally pretty good, take his medicine, and let's try and make a four, but we're not gonna push for a four and make six. We can afford the odd five. You don't have to calm him down and you don't have to G him up. He's had peaks and troughs in his career, so it's at a peak at the minute and I'm trying to enjoy it for what it is. I mean, he said to me going up the 18th, let's enjoy this. If you're not a pretty grounded individual, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be, you'd be too wrapped up in the moment, I think, and he, he came out with it. Just wandering up before we got to the second shot, which was, that kind of sums it up for me.